Hello everyone, this is Hasha. Welcome to my channel Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video we are going to talk about Nomad exploit. There is another bridge exploit happened today. So we'll discuss everything about this particular exploit in this video. Actually, the total exploit was about 190 million dollars. So we'll explain everything in this video. This was one of the craziest and funniest exploit in the history of DeFi space. So everything will be covered in this video, watch this video till the end. Before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comment section below. And this video like that is 200 likes, so definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video guys. So guys, first thing, if you are not aware of Nomad uh, ex uh, exchange, this is one of the cross chain bridge in which you can bridge tokens from one chain to other chain. Now today what has happened is now if you see the normal bridge so they have stopped the bridge right now bridge is unavailable because all their funds were exploited. So yesterday morning uh, the total value logged in normal bridge was around 190 million dollars and today it is only 15 thousand dollars. So what exactly has happened? So before going to uh, uh, the exploit explanation I want to show one of the funny fact so the exploiter wallet if you see so this is the exploiter wallet which is ending with 90 e so this specific wallet has done a transaction some couple of hours before the exploit and that was a failed transaction and this exploiter has paid around 215 uh, ethereum for the failed transaction which was costed around 341 thousand dollars so that was a one crazy thing so we don't know what exactly was doing and why this he paid so much ethereum for one of the failed transaction and couple of minutes later if you see his wallet same user wallet 90 e he was one of the exploiter he you can see there are so many transactions from uh, nomad bridge he was able to receive couple of tokens in multiples of hundred thousand dollars and couple of die and other stable coins so now this is one of the exploiter wallet but how exactly was this particular user was able to manage to exploit the wallet so if you go to the nomad official channels there was no official breakdown announcement on this how the how exactly the exploit has happened but uh, one random uh, uh, dude on internet has posted this breakdown so with the twitter handle sam cg sun so i with this uh, uh, tweet i will try to explain you guys what exactly has happened with the exploit so before that i want to share one of the another interesting fact if you see this is a, a nomad uh, uh, bridge contract so if you see the bridge hack funds are gone to multiple different wallets so even some of the e, uh, ethereum ens names so couple of un, uh, many number of different wallets usually whenever there is an exploit funds will be going to one exploiter or hackers wallet but in this scenario there were multiple exploiters so there was hundreds of different wallets who was exploiting and they were different users exploiting the contract but how exactly this crazy thing happened so with the help of this tweet i'll try to break down so this user has identified first thing he identified was some of the users who how, how exactly bridge works so i'll explain you in simple terms so let's assume a scenario where you want to bridge some of the tokens from uh, Binance Smart Chain to uh, Ethereum Chain. So if you are sending one Bitcoin or one wrapped BTC to the uh, bridge on the BN Binance Smart Chain side, you will receive same amount which is one wrapped BTC on the Ethereum side. But in this scenario, what this user has identified is in this scenario, users are bridging 0 0.01 wrapped BTC into 100 BTC on the other side of the chain. So this was one shocking thing. So this could be possible only with one reason. But uh, during the transactions, they were not passing anything. So they were not proving anything. They were not validating anything. This was only possible with two possibilities. One is either they were passing the proof in a previous block or other uh, different earlier block or there is some serious issue with the replica contract. So replica contract basically it validates whether uh, if you are claiming uh, if you are sending one BTC and claiming same one BTC on the other chain replica contract will validate whether this user is having the valid hash to claim those tokens on the other side. So now the problem here is so in this contract if you see the point number 185 require acceptable root message bracket message hash. So this is a uh, point or this is a code where the contract will validate the 
hash whether it is a valid hash to claim those tokens on the other chain with that specific amount of tokens so now what has happened so only uh, if if there are failed transaction like if there is any invalid type of transaction that that hash will have a zero hash so which will be indicated in the form of 0x0000 so but in this contract uh, the problem was this was accepting the replica contract was even accepting the zero hashes as a valid transaction so actually zero means it's a invalid transaction it should not accept but this particular contract was accepting so that is a root cause of this particular entire exploit actually what has happened is the team has recently upgraded the contract in the routine upgrades and in that uh, check they have kept it as a zero hash as a valid root so which means even if you are passing zero that contract will cal calculate it as a valid root and it will accept the transaction so the exploiter has identified this bug in the contract and he created a transaction with a zero hash root proof and he was able to succeed successfully claim tokens on the other side like he will send 0.01 btc and on other side of the chain he will modify and he will claim 100 wrapped btc with a zero hash but contract will think it is a valid transaction because zero hash is valid as per their recent upgrade so that was a bug in the contract and now after seeing that transaction on the blockchain multiple other folks on internet from different telegram or twitter handles or discard channel people has identified this bug and even the users who are not having any knowledge they were just copy pasting the transaction and replacing the transaction with their valid address and they were replicating and then you can see this on the contract there are multiple valids hundreds of valids uh, trying to exploit the contract and they've looted the funds uh, if you see this specific transaction sequence here so this particular user has done the tran transaction and then here if you see this same amount of transaction is repeated for five to six transactions so users are basically copy pasting the transaction and putting their contract address and they are doing or they are replicating the exploit by just changing the valid address so this is what happened with nomad exp uh, nomad exploit and there are multiple valets involved and there are it's a very crazy thing so before because hundreds of users have you exploited this contract and they have drained the funds from the bridge and now bridge has no funds and after that couple of users they try to protect some of the funds they have bridged it or uh, they they have used this exploit and protected the funds so that other users will not exploit and now they are ready to return the funds to the project so now this is exactly what has happened so if you want to see the complete exploit in single image so this is the image which you can imagine what exactly happened with the nomad exploit bridge contract Everyone was able to exploit the contract freely by just copy pasting and they were looting the funds. So now that's all guys that is all about today's video of what exactly has happened with the Nomad Bridge. So if you like the video hit the like button and do mention in the comment section in case if you are aware of this uh, uh, bug before the contract was emptied. So will you or were you able to do or copy paste the contract and were you able to loot this hundreds of thousands of dollars or not. So mention that in the comment section below. and that's all guys that is all about today's video if you like this video click the like button if you are new to this channel or if you learned something interesting in this video do subscribe to this channel and if you have any doubts or collaboration leave them in the comment section below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind